Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And continuing the topic of P injunction diode, in which today we see the next case that is the forward bias condition. Forward bias. Now, in the forward bias, what do we have? The P type is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. The N type N side is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. So here I've made the PN junction diode that was under no bias condition. So the positive terminal comes over here and the negative terminal goes to the N side. Positive, negative. All right. Uh, let me mention PN and also. So this is P, this is N. This is the junction, this is the width of the depletion region. Alright, now what happens? The P side, if connected to the positive terminal, so the positive terminal is, let's say, equivalent to holes, the negative terminal is equivalent to spraying of negative charges. So it sprays more positive holes into it, so which means the holes are repelled, which means that the recombination takes place. Similarly, over here, the negative charges are sprayed, so these negative charges are repelled, and the negative charges, they recombine with the positive ions. So, under forward bias condition, recombination takes place. Recombination. And this recombination is of what? Holes with the holes recombine with negative ions, the electrons recombine with the positive ions. So the result is what? The result is the width of depletion region reduces, WD reduces and the WD we had an associated electric field in the depletion region which we term as the barrier potential. So if this width reduces, which means now the barrier potential Vb reduces. Isn't it so? So what happens basically is that, let me draw it with this green color. So this is now, this was the previous uh, that, what? Depletion region. Now over here we have holes or let me mention it with the black color. Over here we have hole, over here we have a hole. So these have been recombined. Similarly over here, electric electrons are recombined. So now this is a part of that n-type material. This is a part of this p-type material. So we have a new depletion region represented by this black color. So which means now what happened is that the width of the depletion region has reduced. Let me write it WD in forward bias, FB, right? So, and this is voltage across the diode, VD, all right? So, what happens is, if you apply a barrier, if you apply a potential VD, this results in the width of depletion region reducing, and this results in the barrier potential reducing. Isn't it so? Alright. Now if we talk about the current through the diode, so let me write it like this, ID. So this is the current through the diode, right? ID. So what is basically ID? So ID is the current due to the majority carriers minus the current due to the minority charge carriers, right? I majority Uh, or this is also called a diffusion current minus I minority which is called a drift current or reverse saturation current. So ID is the I majority minus I minority. Now the minority charge carriers we know they only depend minority carriers. They depend on the change of temperature. Right? Change of temperature. 
and as we have not changed any temperature over here so the number of minority charge carriers are the same minority charge carriers are the same as we discussed in as we saw in the in the previous that is no bias condition so which means if they are the same the minority current or this is also called as the drift current or this is also called as the reverse saturation current so this is also the same the difference we only will see is due to the majority charge carriers now what happens you we saw that the barrier potential has reduced the width has reduced so we see that by increasing vd the width uh, decreases which means that the, uh, the 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 width of depletion region is inversely proportional to the positive applied bias and similarly the the barrier potential is inversely proportional to the positive applied bias now the new barrier potential which it would be new barrier potential it would be vb minus vd vb was the previous built in potential vd is the positive applied bias all right okay now when the barrier potential is zero which means there is no barrier for the majority carriers to cross to get to the other side and to uncover the eyes if this barrier potential is zero we have a flood of electrons passing we have a flood of holes coming which means this would just be an equivalent short circuit which means we have an exponential rise of current so what do you have if the barrier potential is zero if this barrier potential is equal to zero so what do you have we have a flood of electrons passing or we have a flood of holes passing you know or any charge carrier which means we have a, a, a rise and this rise is in an exponential form exponential rise in current we have an exponential rise in current once the barrier potential is zero and when will this barrier potential be zero when the, when the the vd becomes equal to vb vd equals to vb the forward applied bias for example vb for silicon is 0 0.7 so when you make the vd equal to 0 0.7 for a silicon base so what do you have you have an exponential rise in current it would just be an equivalent short circuit as the no bias condition we saw previously well that is not related to this so let me relate these widths if uh, if vd is if vd is zero so we had the width wd and we had barrier potential wb now if vd is have some positive value this positive value means that the p is uh, the positive value means that the forward bias condition which means the p is connected to positive terminal so when vd is zero we have wd uh, forward bias and we have vb forward bias so the relation between these two is what so where should I write? I will write it over here. The relation is that the width has reduced, which means that WD in forward bias is less than the WD that is no bias. And similarly, the barrier potential is also less. The barrier potential in forward bias is less than the no bias barrier potential. So that's all about the PN junction diode in the forward bias condition. In the next lecture, we discuss the uh, what? The reverse bias condition. Till then, take care. Goodbye.